Oh, baby, it's that time once again. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Opinion Corner. This is a series where I sit in front of a mic and talk about what's on my mind today. And what's on my mind today is Wave 5 of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass which was just released a couple hours ago. Ever since we got the teaser of the three new characters, which I'll be talking about as well, and the new... It's technically not a tour course since it's coming to the past first, but I'm gonna count it as one anyways, because we know it's just gonna go on there. Oh, I just hit my mic. We know it's gonna go on there anyway. But eight new tracks bring in all new discussion, especially with the characters they chose. I have a couple things to say about that, and then we'll look at the wish list and check the progress on that. So without further ado, let's begin with- oh, it's that time of the year again. We Koopa Cape. Yeah, I think Nintendo just forgot there are more than four Mario Kart Wii courses. Yeah, someone tipped them off about DK Summit, and then they were like, oh! Oh, DK Summit! Right! Mario Kart Wii is a game we have! <gasps> Koopa Cape! <laughs> yeah, I don't really have much to say about this course. It's a fan favorite. I can see why they put it on here. There are so many really good Nitro courses in Mario Kart Wii that Nintendo is just not capitalizing on. We'll get to the other one later. But as for my opinions on the course itself, it's fine. I think I've started to gain a bigger appreciation for it after I started time trialing it, but it's definitely not my favorite course in Mario Kart Wii. I'm looking at the course right now and it doesn't seem like uh, it changed too drastically compared to the Mario Kart 7 version or what I'm more familiar with the Mario Kart Wii version. So yeah, Koopa Cape everybody. I think this course definitely looks very uh, mobile port-y. I saw some people talking about that and yeah, it's got a lot of um, Code Circuit Rock Rock Mountain vibes, but yeah. Next up is Tour Los Angeles Laps. This is one of the tour courses that I haven't played too much. I think this came out around the time I stopped playing it. Dropped it for a couple months, maybe even years. How long has this game been out anyway? <laughs> so I have no strong first impressions on the course. I think it looks cool. I'm looking forward to trying it out. Uh, we can see at the start there's a ramp section with a half pipe. I think this turn looks kind of cool. We see some city stuff and then not much in the initial trailer. I have not seen if there is a trailer with extended gameplay. I'm actually going to look at that right now yeah new gameplay okay so we do have some new stuff the compilation i found is not in the order of the trailer so i'm just gonna skip over those oh my god <laughs> the camera angles are so weird for the koopa cape one they barely showed us anything compared to what we got from the initial trailer okay so anyway back to los angeles laps oh yeah and we get to listen to uh, a snippet of the remixes too uh, seems kind of funky. I'm in for it. Okay, not much to see. Uh, we saw a little bit of the bridge. <laughs> Yo, what if this is the bridge from Cars 3? Let's go. <laughs> okay, next up. Okay, here we go. Moon View Highway. They did it! We got a brand new Mario Kart Wii Retro. As a Mario Kart Wii player, I am very excited to see something other than the big four from seven. It is just refreshing to see, and I'm glad it's Moonview Highway. This was, and is currently, still one of my best courses in Wii. So I have a lot of uh, attachment to this course, so I'm really happy to see it come to the pass. However, <laughs> I did notice at the start, they removed the low trick ramp at the start which is a little disappointing. What were they thinking, bro? That added variety, now it's a shroom cut? But this is just me being really nitpicky. I am very excited for this course. I love the ambience of Moonview Highway as a nighttime traffic course. I think it delivers on that pretty well. Layout's a little basic, admittedly, but I think the visual upgrade is really cool to see and that this will be a lot of fun to drive around in eight. Okay, new gameplay. Let's see if there's anything different. Oh yeah, the shortcuts on the left and right side are back too, so that's cool. They are double boxes now, so gives a little bit more incentive to go on those sides. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That cart Wario is driving on right now. Is that the sneaker? Wait, is that a new cart? Dude, I've only seen like the meta cart, so <laughs> any crazy cart combination is all new to me. It's a it's a triwheel. Okay, I thought it was uh, it was gonna be the cucumber from Mario Kart DS, which is why I got excited. But anyway, also this remix goes kind of crazy. Hold up. Yo, the percussion being so much more profound, kind of hits. <laughs> no pun intended. 
Ah, next up, Squeaky Clean Sprint. This is the new one that we saw in the trailer. Uh, no initial thoughts on it. I think it's got a lot of really cool eye candy, lots of fun references. And I always love when they add that in Mario Kart courses, even though you're just zooming through and uh, flying by. Whenever I do get the chance, I do like to appreciate some of those. But yeah, since I have no idea about the layout or what it's gonna be like, I don't know what else to say here. Let's see if I can find these shortcuts here. We got a glider. Oh my god, Kamek! <laughs> red shelling. Oh my god, he red shelled Daisy. Oh hell no, that's a crime. <laughs> There's also an underwater section. So yeah, it seems like they're really uh, going into more underwater parts. Oh yeah, with Koopa Cape too, I just realized. This also seems to have a lot of glider parts. Okay, yeah, the, the new gameplay trailer. I didn't spot anything crazy. So let's move on to the next one, Tor Athens Dash. This is one of the newer ones. I don't think I had the opportunity to play this. There hasn't been too many login bonuses as far as I'm aware, so I haven't really been logging into that as much. But I've heard of it. Yeah, interested to see what they do with this course. I guess I could look at some gameplay uh, in my off time. But from the gameplay that we saw from the trailer, it looks pretty cool. Usually, tour courses are incredible hits or underwhelming at worst. So I'm always looking forward to seeing uh, new tour courses pop up here and there. Especially the new ones that I haven't gotten the chance to try out. I think the uh, the sky ramps uh, that Bowser Jr. is going off of is very reminiscent of a custom track. Jumping off of ramp after ramp looks very fun. Like, I feel like linking off of all of those ramps will be very satisfying. So, we've got more gliders going up into a cape. Oh, but they cut off, even in the new gameplay. So, we will just have to see what that is in the final release when it comes out in just about a week, actually. And now Double Dash fans are eating good. We're getting GCN Daisy Cruiser. I'm not entirely sure how popular this course is, but this was in my wish list. So, hey, I'll take that as a win. <laughs> I forget if the left side path was a new thing they added to the 3DS or if that was there in the original Double Dash version. I will, I'm gonna look. Oh yeah, it was blocked off in the Double Dash version. And it was freed up in the 7 version. Okay, so this is a new thing that they added in 7. Which makes sense because I feel like they have been porting a bunch of the 3DS stuff to Tor. So this being the 3DS version makes a lot of sense. Visually, however, I feel like this got an incredible overhaul. I don't remember this being that visually impressive on the 3DS or even in Double Dash. So huge W for DZ Cruiser fans. I especially like the dining hall since it seems like there's people actually dining there now. And it just looks so much more bright and vibrant, which fits Daisy a lot. The Goomba obstacles in the, or if they are obstacles, in the pool at the start, I'm interested to see how they'll play. I wonder if you can Shroomba on them, if you'll spin out when you hit them or what purpose they serve. Cause it seems like you can interact with them. They're not just for decoration, but we'll just have to see uh, how they handle that. Ooh, I'm also a big fan of the violin at the beginning of Daisy Cruiser. But yeah, it looks like this track has gone through some great visual upgrades. It keeps some of the extra detail that the 3DS version added. And yeah, I think this is a huge win all around. Next up, Sunset Wilds. I know someone who is very happy about this. They've been winning for a while. As for me, this is definitely one of the Super Circuit tracks that I enjoyed the most. I think the dynamic is really cool. Sunset atmospheres are always very fun. And if I recall correctly, this track turns to night on the final lap. So it's like time progresses as you race, and I think that's such a cool detail. I know the tour version simplifies this track a little bit, as it seems they have done for every single GBA course, except the Bowser's Castle courses, I think. I'm not sure, but I guess we'll just have to see how that changes. Maybe they'll actually switch it up. I don't know, considering GBA Sky Garden and stuff, I'm not gonna hold my breath on that. But yeah, visually this looks fun. I also like some, uh, there's this one turn in the Sunset Wilds part where there's like a canyon or something and they integrate the cut there pretty creatively. So if it's like a hybrid version of something like that, I would be very excited to play this in the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe engine. Very much looking forward to this course. And the last course, Tour Vancouver Velocity. This is another course that I saw a lot of people 
put on their wants list. I think considering how many torque horses they've been putting, it's definitely a given. But yeah, this track looks cool. I have only played this a few times. I don't really have an opinion on it, as is customary for the Scrag's opinion of torque horses. It seems the remix in the 8 Deluxe version seems a lot more lively compared to the Tor version. So I'm also looking forward to hearing that. Visually, the part of the track that Toad is driving on looks very clean. The ice ring part looks super cool. And uh, yeah, that's it for all of the gameplay, it seems. So yeah, I guess uh, now all that's left is to see how they play, and I'm looking forward to see if the community figures out some shortcuts with this course. So yeah, those are my first impressions on the eight courses that are coming to Wave 5 of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass. So let's move on to the characters, and I think these are really cool character picks. PD Piranha, definitely a fan favorite. He's only been in one game, excluding Tor. And I think he's such a visually distinct character compared to the other heavies we've gotten. So I think this is a great addition for the first pick. And then they put Wiggler from Mario Kart 7, probably because they had to represent Mario Kart 7 somehow. And they were afraid. Oh, they were afraid. I know it. <laughs> I also think Wiggler has a lot of personality in Mario Kart 7 too, because if I remember correctly, he has this interaction whenever, whenever he gets hit by a big item. I don't know if it's any item or if it's one of those like big items. Uh, his model changes and he starts fuming just like when you hit him in the actual games. That is such a cool attention to detail. And then we got Kamek from Tor, which I think is a very well-deserved addition after he's been excluded from Mario Kart 64 and I believe Mario Kart as well. So welcome home, Kamek. <laughs> and with that, two characters remain, which unfortunately that means Diddy Kong, Funky Kong, and Rob can no longer be in the same roster. I wonder who else they could pick. I think they've represented all the Double Dash characters. We are only missing Funky Kong and Diddy Kong, but Diddy Kong was also in Double Dash, so I, I actually forgot. I forgot about him too. Oh, I'm Nintendo. I guess Donkey Kong Jr. has just as much of a chance as everyone else. I think if they're trying to represent as much as they can in the series, I don't usually do predictions, but yeah, I think it'd be fun. Donkey Kong Jr. has a strong chance considering they were able to implement his sprite as a model in Tor. And just to pay homage to the first Mario Kart game, I think that's possible. I think with how well Mario Kart Wii did, Funky Kong also makes sense. But man, Diddy Kong deserves to be in here <laughs> just as much as anyone else, if not even more. And I just really want to see Rob. It'll be so funny. Please, Nintendo, put Rob in the game. I want to see him go, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> But yeah, outside of the characters and tracks, I'm excited to see what they do to the game. Because every single update has added something new. Whether that be the custom item functionality, literal balance changes to the items and the characters. They're not afraid to sprinkle some extra things along with the updates, so... But I'm not sure what else they could add. I guess new items would be interesting, but I feel like they would promote that in the trailers, right? Especially with how they've been promoting the characters alongside the course pass. Who knows? It's Nintendo. They do whatever the hell they want. <laughs> and that marks the end of the booster course pass discussion for Wave 5. Now, if I pull up the wish list, only one course has been marked, which is Daisy Cruiser. And honestly, considering this was a wish list with no basis or thought that went into it besides just my preferences or what I liked, getting six, <laughs> including DS Mario Circuit and Boo Lake, I'm pretty happy with. Just getting one of my favorite Mario Kart courses of all time in the past. Also, zero for three on the Bowser's Castles, by the way. What the hell's up with that? How have we not gotten a new Bowser's Castle yet? Clearly, they're just saving it for the final wave. <laughs> just like how it's one of the last Nitro courses to be represented in a Mario Kart game. It's totally that. I, I, full send. Totally believe in that theory. And yeah, I'm gonna leave you guys off with that. Tune back into this channel for day one impressions of the new courses in Wave 5 when those come out. Thank you guys so much for listening to me ramble again about Mario Kart 8 DLC. It's always a lot of fun to speculate, discuss, and analyze the new information we've been given. Let me know what you guys are excited to see in the past. What track are you most excited for? What are your thoughts on the character picks? And what do you think this means for the final wave of the pass? Who do you think will be the last characters to make it? Because I honestly have no clue at this point. Subscribe to the main channel for more content. Subscribe to the side channel for more extra content. Like the video for the funny YouTube algorithm, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.